Brancheski has done his bachelor's, from Rhode Island School of Design. In 2004, on the day of graduation, his best friend Joe Gabbia said to him, that, Brain I think we can start a company together, so Brain replied, why don't have a job instead? So, Brain went to Los Angeles for job, and Joe Gabbia got a job at San Francisco. In October 2007 Joe's apartment rent was gonna increase by 25%, so one of his roommate Nathan decided to move out. Joe called Brain, and said he got an apartment and his roommate just moved out, let's start a company. So Brain quit his job, broke up with his girlfriend, and with $1,000 in his bank account he came up to Joe. And then Joe told him, the rent of the apartment is $1,150, Brain replied I should have asked this before. Luckily, that weekend an international design conference was coming to San Francisco, and all the hotels were booked. They had empty space in their apartment, they both quit their jobs so now they need money to survive, thus they decided to rent their apartment. They created their first website using WordPress, named it, airbedandbreakfast.com. Within a day they got three guests, for their apartment, and made $1,000 too. Joe, and Brain didn't just hosted them, but also showed them the city, and went to the conference together, and ended up being friends. Even one of the guests from India, invited Joe and Brain to his wedding two years later. In January 2008, even Nathan, the old roommate of Joe's who left the apartment earlier, also quit his job, and joined the Airbnb. In March 2008, they created a website, which has a list of events where people can put up their spare bedrooms, to host guests coming to the event. In summer 2008, they did their third launch, now you can book and host rooms for any purpose, not just for conference or events, and within a week 800 people posted their spare rooms on the website. In August 2008, there was National Democratic Conference and there were stories in media about shortage of rooms for participants. So they wrote to local newspaper that our website has 800 ready to book rooms available, luckily local newspaper covered a story on Airbnb, and soon CNN also covered a story on Airbnb then they got 100 people to book room from their website during the convention but soon after that, again the website traffic gone down to zero. Then they decided to send breakfast for the guests to those people who were hosting their rooms on their website, and they choose to send cereals. In 2008 November, as there were elections overhead they thought about creating presidential theme-based cereals, Abamals, and Captain McCain's. They liked the idea so much, that they decided to sell the cereals commercially, and opted a smart marketing technique. They printed thousand boxes of their theme and bought thousands of boxes of cereals from grocery store, and stuffed their printed boxes with the cereal they bought. As they had press contact earlier they knew few reporters, and they knew if they email those reporters about their cereals they probably gonna ignore them. So they personally sent them cereal boxes, and it worked, within a week they were on CNN again. Then they sold the cereals as a limited edition product, charging $40 for each box and earned around $20,000 from it. But still their website, Airbed and Breakfast still didn't had any traffic. So they tried to get investment for their company, they were meeting investors, and everyone is rejecting them. One of the investor just got up, and walked out in the middle of the pitching, and never came back. Meanwhile recession hit the global market, so Airbnb was about to die at this point, one of their advisor asked them to go to Y Combinature. Y Combinature is a startup course started by Paul Graham. Taking this course helped them a lot, they got great advices during this course. Paul advised them to meet their hosts personally, so they decided to meet people who host their spare room on their website, particularly from New York as they had more density of users in New York. They noticed an issue as the camera phones weren't as good as they are nowadays, so pics of most of the hosted properties were really dark and unclear. 
so they rent a camera and called each of their hosts and asked them do you like a professional photographer to come to your home and photograph your apartment for free. Joe and Brain used to go themselves to take pictures of apartments and meanwhile they also teach his hosts how to use their website and invites them for beer later that night and tries to build a relationship with their product users while having beers they also tell their hosts the story of their struggle. At the end this helped them a lot, they can call their users and ask them things like, can we update your property description? As you have a very nice apartment but you wrote very little about it, and users allow them to edit it because user knew the guys personally now, and can trust them. They also suggest users to lower their prices for initial bookings, and users were supporting them, and now their website has lower budget rooms with great pictures and improved profile descriptions, so they started getting bookings and when hosts started earning money from it they started telling their friends about it, and even their friends comes to website and see the established quality and puts up their property on Airbnb. And now people are coming to New York from different parts of the world, and book their rooms using Airbnb and then they go back to their country, and sometimes the guest gets converted into hosts, in other words even guests from different countries who used Airbnb in New York, started hosting their apartments on Airbnb too.